Maria Bartiromo casually floated the idea of rank authoritarianism on her show on Fox Business. Watch. Welcome back. We are back live with Acting Secretary of Homeland Security, Chad Wolf. Secretary, we're just going through the situation in Portland. I want to get to the other major cities of our country and the violence happening there. But why can't, before we, we finish on Portland, why can't you just arrest the leadership in Portland because of their, uh, you know, ignoring what's really happening on the ground? Well, we absolutely uh, are doing that. So we're working with the FBI there in Portland, with the U.S. Attorney's Office there in Portland uh, to address the leaders uh, that are organizing this and then going after them. We're also making arrests every night. Uh, we made more than um, seven or eight arrests last night, and we'll continue to do that. Uh, we're continuing to hold these criminals accountable. She was just like, hey, why not arrest, you know, state and local officials? Who aren't doing their job right. In your eyes. In your eyes. Okay, that's... She's just like casually asking. Hey. If they don't do a fascism, why don't you do a fascism? And just arrest the state and local officials who you don't agree with. Can you imagine the reaction if you just flip the parties here for a second? Imagine it was Republican state and local officials and a Democratic president. Would Maria Bartiromo be like, I don't get it. Why doesn't the Democratic president just arrest all the Republican officials in the states and, and in, in you know the cities who aren't doing their job exactly as you'd want them to? And she, this woman has been on TV for like decades. And this is how... Deeply, she's thought through, you know, different political philosophies and ideologies to the point where she just casually floats like, yeah, just arrest the, I don't see, what's the problem? The problem is that would be unconstitutional, that would be authoritarian, that would be fascistic, that would be tyrannical. It's, it's amazing how quickly we've seen so many people on the right flip from this, like, I have a principled stance in favor of small government view to, like, I don't get it. Just send in the stormtroopers and arrest the people who you disagree with. What's the problem? By the way, so many libertarians. You want to talk about a pickle for the libertarians? <laughs> the libertarians have, you know... They're supposed to be the most principled in favor of small government. Um, but in a situation like this, when you see people who are out in the streets protesting, who are clearly on the left, and they're anarchists, and there are Marxists, and there's Antifa, and there are more normie Democrats, or whatever, but like, they know that the protesters are on the left. And so then the libertarians are in a pickle, and they're like, hmm... In this instance, I want to support the jackbooted government thugs, but my whole political philosophy and ideology is based on jackbooted government thugs being wrong and bad, so what do I do here? It really is scary, man. And again, you know, it's moments like this where you, do, you truly do realize how few principled voices there are in the political landscape. Because, you know, this is as... Straightforward as it gets in terms of the Constitution and in terms of what's allowed and what's not allowed. You do have these situations where you have these protests. As, as far as I've seen recently, most of the protests are happening in Portland now. Okay, and like... I'm sure that the Portland police are dealing with it however they can in terms of you have to decide where your resources and where your effort and where your attention goes. And like, when if somebody's committing some sort of violent act, I'm sure they get arrested. If somebody's trying to burn down buildings, I'm sure they get arrested. But like, when you have so many people in the streets and so many of them are completely peaceful, what do you do? Well, the federal government, what they want to do and what Trump has been crystal clear recently about is, oh, we want anybody who defaces a monument or statue to get 10 years in prison, and we want zero tolerance for what's happening in the streets right now. So that's where you get, like we learned from Ken Klippenstein, that you had um, Department of Homeland Security people, Border Patrol people, 
federal troops showing up dressed in full army gear, military gear, and just taking protesters off the streets and arresting them even though they don't have the authority to arrest them. And in the midst of watching that, she thinks because she doesn't like the ideology of the protesters, I don't get it. Why not arrest the protesters, but also the Democratic officials in this area? They think the Democratic officials are being weak. What do you mean? How? What are they supposed to do? What are you supposed to do when there's protests? I'll tell you what you're supposed to do in a free country. You let the protests happen. Yes, you can stop people who are committing violence, of course. But you gotta let the protests happen. That's called the First Amendment. That's called freedom of speech. And again, the people who scream the most about freedom of speech are the first to flip when they don't agree I ideologically with the people who are protesting. They flip so fast. It's amazing. Oh, man. There's a, a stark realization. There's a scary moment when you realize that, yes, a president, a U.S. president could do pretty much anything and there will always be some segment of the population that will defend it. And I'm not kidding when I say anything. The, a U.S. president could do anything, anything, and some segment of the population will be like, of course, that's, that's the right move. Doesn't matter how extreme you want the thing to get to be. If Trump decided tomorrow to nuke Afghanistan, some people would be like, uh, yeah, of course. I would have done that years ago. Duh. Terrifying thought. But a Fox business host, casually, just arrest the state and local officials. Would you just implement an authoritarian crackdown and fascism. Why not? I don't get it. Just do that. Duh. Scary times, man.